Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in the same spot that you left me and I'm going to do a haul from Nana Makes Sense. It is my first haul from her and I have my um, invoice here but unfortunately it doesn't have the scent notes on it and like I've said before I don't have internet at my house and I use my phone to record so um, unless I was like responsible and like got the notes ahead of time um, I'm not gonna have them for you so I'm just gonna give you my first impressions um, her wax is like really affordable um, it's really good. So I was watching Tara Lynn here on YouTube and I follow her on her Instagram as well. And she always talks about Nana Makes Sense and I really wanted to try it. I liked um, the blends that um, she had available. So yeah, let's get started. Sorry, I don't have the specific notes, but the first one here is a cute little owl. I love that his eyes are blue and it's in coffee and cookies. And I think... There are some samples in here. I think she actually sent a lot, so I think those are at the bottom though, so we'll get to those. This is a nice mellow coffee. The cookie is probably like a sugar cookie, and this thing weighs like a lot. Let's see how much this one costs. Only three dollars. Yeah. If I cut this right, I could get quite a few scents out of it. So that one's a really nice mellow coffee scent. Next we have Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. And believe it or not, I have not tried this scent on its own, only in blends. And look at this like gigantic bag of shapes that she's done. And it, I love the color combination that she did too. Um, this one cost... Four dollars and twenty-five cents, you guys. I mean, if you're on a budget and you want to try a new vendor, I think this is the way to go. And I love her label. Like, look at this cute little woman here on the front. So adorable. Yeah, this is like a sweet, slightly fluffy, slightly a little bit floral, I think like a very soft powdery floral but it's mostly sweet I wouldn't say bakery but yeah that one's gonna be really good on its own and to blend with next we have a pink sugar plum let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit better maybe if I go out a little bit I don't know I'm trying to I'm trying to make it work guys um Mmm, this is good. It almost smells like like a blackberry kind of scent to me. That's what the shape looks like. Yeah, that one's really yummy. It almost it reminds me of a body care. But that one's really good. This one was only two dollars and twenty-five cents. Next I have Mexicone, which I don't know the scent notes on this, but it's a beautiful like little tart, like purple drizzle on top. Let's see if I can, hmm, it's a little bit indescribable, it's definitely like a bakery. I'm kind of getting like maybe like a yellow cake or like funnel cake kind of vibe. Not really cinnamon. Maybe there's like caramel in it or something. It's pretty soft though. This is a, such a huge snowflake. Holy moly. Look at that. This is Christmas with the cranks. And this guy was only $3.50. There's definitely like um, a, 
Christmas tree note in here. I'm going to pull this out so you can see, like, look how gigantic this is. That beautiful flex of glitter on there. I think there's something sweet in here too, maybe like a vanilla bean Noel or something like that. But mainly the first note I get is like a Christmas tree, but that smells really good. I love that. I think I'm going to zoom you guys in if I can a little bit. Okay. Next one is called Super Funny Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Mm. Oh, what is that? It smells kind of cinnamony. Oh, maybe like eggnog. Yeah, kind of reminds me of eggnog. That one's really good. And they have like these cute little candy shapes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, next up I have pink Christmas tree, which I think is pink sugar and maybe like a balsam fir. Look how cute. It makes me want to make um, Christmas cookies. Mm. It has peppermint in it too. That one's really yummy. I would definitely get that one again if I put another order in and it's available. Okay, I got Where the Heart Is, and honestly, I only got this because um, I love this movie. Like, love her. Um, and I always, like, loved um, that Natalie Portman um, named her baby America, so I thought that was so funny. But also, her name in the movie, Novali. That is such a beautiful name. I want to name my child that. Um, if I have one, like, Novali, that is, I think, so beautiful. And I have never heard anybody named that before. This is an indescribable kind of sweet scent. Maybe there's, like, a buttercream or something in there. Okay, we have Black Magic. I don't think this is a scent I would normally go for. So let's see what kind of notes I can pick up in it. Hmm. Wow, it's... can't... It smells kind of powdery. I don't think there's patchouli in it. It doesn't smell spicy. I'm getting a powdery vibe from it. I'm not quite sure what that is or why I decided to try it. It's not bad, but it's like, um, just not really in my, my scent realm. This is thankful in this cute little bunt. I know I stopped giving you prices, guys, but I promise they're all really good. This one is only $1.50. <laughs> this one, I think, has coffee in it. I don't know if it does, but... And I wouldn't think that something named Thankful would have coffee in it, but that's kind of what the vibe is giving me. pretty good, especially for $1.50. I'd love to try it out. Okay. What's up next? Oh, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. This one was only $2.25. And she does put the pour dates on her labels, too. So. Oh. There's like a cinnamony, maple-y goodness in there. That one's like almost like a donut, like glazed donut. I don't know. That one's delightful. 
We also have Granny's Favorite Treats. I'm getting a freshness, like a fruity freshness. Let me take it out of the bag. Maybe some type of like mimosa or it doesn't really smell orangey. Maybe more like cranberry or yeah, it's really pretty. Sorry for that. I'm getting notifications on my phone. Oh, here's the um, her little postcard. Thank you for your order. Allow two weeks to your time. And she has her um, email address, phone number, and website. And on the back it says, ah, Hi, Angela. Thank you so much for your order. I hope you love it. Happy melting. And then it says Barbara with a little smiley face. That is super cute. And then she also included her business card with the same information. Okay, this one I was excited about because Tara was also talking about this and I think she created this one. It's Christmas Carol. I want to say this is a sweet Christmas tree blend. Which I probably should have got more of. Yeah. It's like vanilla balsamy. It's really delightful. I don't, and maybe there's like a little bit of peppermint in there too. I don't see how you can go wrong with that. <laughs> I think this is my last one and then I have lots of samples. This one's going home for Christmas and instead of pink sparkles, it has red. Mmm. This one has a little bit of like maybe type of cinnamon or bourbon. I'm probably so off. And it is sweeter, like more of like a sugar cookie with a hint of maybe a Christmas tree in the background. That one's really good too. I would definitely pick up another one of that. Okay, and she sent so many samples. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six six samples like that's crazy okay first one is don't be a scrooge i think i was gonna get this one and i ended up not because i decided that i didn't think i would like it so let's see it smells like mahogany which I'm not a super big fan of. It kind of tends to give me a headache. So I don't think I'll be picking up any of that. This one's Christmas in Connecticut. I know it's Connecticut. But that's just how I read it first. <laughs> mm. This one smells more like a um, red hot kind of cinnamon. But pretty good. We have up next sweet pumpkin cake. Ooh, that one sounds good. Mmm, and it is. Yeah, there's not like any spice in there that I can tell. Autumn wreath type. I'm not sure if that's a bath and body works or Yankee candle. So I'm not really sure what it's supposed to smell like. Kind of smells like apple cider, maybe. I don't know, that's not what I was expecting. Ooh, mountain farm. And I love this color of the wax. Kind of matches my sweatshirt. <laughs> so pretty. And these are all ready to melt. So far as I can see, is the um, pour dates are somewhere back in August. Um, middle of October. Ooh. Mm, this one kind of smells like laundry. But like one of the best laundries I've ever smelled. Kind of like apple laundry. 
Yeah, like a fresh cut apple and like you're hang drying all your laundry outside. Maybe you live on an ap apple orchard in a mountain farm. <laughs> okay, and the last sample is going to be Nightmare Before Christmas. Is Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween movie or Christmas movie? Please, somebody help us figure this out. <laughs> huh. It smells kind of like sugar cookie-esque. Maybe like a hint of like a cinnamon donut. Not what I was expecting, but very good. Okay, that is all that I got from Nana Makes Sense, and my total before shipping was $34.25. Look at all this wax, guys. You want to be on a low buy? That's totally fine. Look at look at how much wax you get. Definitely try her out. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful stuff, so I can't wait to melt it and update you guys on how it went. So, all right, guys, have a beautiful night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.